Is Israel pulling out all the stops to get its hostages back? And have they escalated the war to its neighboring countries? And what does it mean for the future of the conflict? I'm Paul, U.S. Army combat veteran. This is an Israeli uh, Israel-Hamas update. Uh, let's get into it. Okay, so taking a look at the latest maps, uh, you can see that within the Gaza Strip, the scale of these airstrikes is absolutely uh, surreal, especially in the north part of the city. Uh, you can see, it, calling it even a city is pretty generous, uh, the, the, the Strip. Um, you can see the downtown here, um, including some of these refugee camps being uh, struck. Um, you've got it, it just continuous, basically non-stop airstrikes. But Hamas itself is continuing to launch rocket attacks from at least some of these regions. Uh, Hamas's military wing saying that they have launched additional um, rockets uh, at targets within southern Israel. Um, again, missile salvos being launched from the Gaza Strip. Um, and of course, Hamas basically saying that they want uh, Israel to attempt a ground invasion. Um, their spokesman saying, quote, the Zionists, that's Israelis, do not know what we have prepared for them. What you have seen in Gaza envelope, you will see in other places. Uh, this is, again, um, the uh, likely a uh, sort of baiting uh, the, um, the Israelis to enter uh to enter Gaza and attempt to engage in a ground fight, which is really the only fight that the uh, Hamas can possibly engage in. Um, they, of course, are trying to drum up as many of their uh, military age men to join the fight as possible. And this is probably uh, their strategy um, was to get out, create... It, it, create the biggest public outcry possible, take hostages, bring them into Gaza, and then bait the Israeli military to come into Gaza as well. Um, they almost certainly knew full well the Israeli military would uh, absolutely glass Gaza, and you can see they're doing their absolute best to to play into the Palestinian strategy here. Um, again, Israel cutting off food, water, electricity to the Gaza Strip, stating uh, that... that um, it won't end until uh, ho all hostages are returned, um, right? Uh, the Israelis are saying Palestinian refugees can leave through the Gaza border crossing with Egypt, but Hamas officials, the ones that operate the Gaza side, um, and that Gazans require advance registration. Generally, only a tiny number of people are allowed through that passage, but it's Hamas that controls it. Um, so it's tough to say. Uh, again, it's it's is it Israel's responsibility to evacuate the Gaza Strip? Yeah, well, it's a, their responsibility as the aggressor to try their best to not target civilian infrastructure. Um, large scale uh, airstrikes, of course, are targeting probably Hamas facilities. Um, the problem is that, as we know, Hamas isn't just a military organization, right? They operate, uh, they function in large ways as a government themselves with social programs. Um, uh, they operate hospitals, they operate schools, they operate uh, standard things that you would expect any government to. Um, all of that is Hamas. And so for Israel, uh, they see all of those things as military targets because they are uh, Hamas affiliated. Um, so, I, and I think, again, within Gaza, you have, in, it's increasingly difficult to say, oh, okay, uh, you can see on this map, right, there's uh, this strike here, right between a refugee camp and a medical center, likely this medical center, probably Hamas affiliated. Maybe Israel believes that it's uh, treating uh, wounded uh, Hamas fighters and therefore make it makes it a valid military target. But again, as the U.S., when we fought in Afghanistan, um, I would never in a million years have approval to launch an airstrike this close or even at a medical center regardless. I, I went to medical clinics where the doctors were like, yes, we treat wounded Taliban here all the time. Um, but we were the call was made that it wasn't worth it to shut down that clinic. 
Um, and it's not the end of the world. But again, the Taliban w weren't killing hundreds of American civilians, um, or according to some counts, thousands. Uh, where things get even more intense is that Israel appears to have escalated this conflict, striking Syria's two main airports. Um, again, we can see on the map uh, Israel going after both the Damascus and Aleppo airports. Uh, zooming out here, you can see within Syria, first off, the Damascus airport being targeted. Um, some rumors are that the uh, it correlates with a visit by high level Iranian officials, um, and that this is likely a an effort by Israel to punish um, or exact, uh, I don't want to say revenge, but retaliation uh, for Iranian support of Hamas. So let's see if we can find, I think down here is Aleppo, I think. Uh, nope, got it wrong. We got Damascus. All right. I swear I know where Aleppo is. Oh yeah, here we go. It's to the north. Uh, the Aleppo airport also... Um, uh, targeted in the, by these strikes. Um, again, uh, Assad's air defenses activating, but likely they probably weren't able to, to do much given the state of Syria and the Syrian military. So is this a dangerous escalation? I would say so to any strike on Syria is likely going to, um, calcify Iran against this and you but you can see how quickly these situations escalate where the Israelis um, are demanding uh, have only a limited number of tools to extract concessions to return their hostages their electorate demands it obviously uh, up to a thousand hostages being held in Gaza the Israeli military doesn't have the resources to house to house to look for them if Hamas would even allow the hostages to survive. And so there really is only this option for the Israelis, um, but not returning the hostages is the only option that Hamas has, because if they do, it's the only concession Hamas has um, and the only protection they can offer uh, against Israeli airstrikes. So the two sides are deeply entrenched. And again, guys, with all of these videos, please bear in mind that I'm not here to make moral judgments. Uh, this isn't the point of this channel. Um, you should form your own moral judgments. But if you're going to make judgments, you should do so with the best information and the best context possible. And so I'm trying to give you the tactical reasoning behind these decisions. Um, but it's up to you as a viewer and as a human being to come up with uh, your own uh, moral takes. Don't get it from me, a face on the internet. But if you are interested in seeing um, deeper analysis of the combat taking place, you can check us out at combatvetnews.com. This is my website um, where uh, I drop twice weekly videos um, for my premium subscribers looking at the uh, doing analysis of some of the combat footage that I just can't do here on YouTube. Anyway, thanks so much, you guys. I'll see you in the next one.